Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> now, this is going to be a bit of a carry-on. Uh, if you're following this, I do them in sections. Uh, they're, all, they're all on Opera News. They're on uh, everywhere. Um, particularly the 10-minute videos, I've been doing them in segments. I just did a segment on the many lies, which the Taliban have already been caught in. I want to mention this. Images of bloodied Afghans contradict Taliban's claims of moderation, NBC News. The militants are trying to consolidate their control of the country in a campaign to paint a more moderate image. There's your moderate image. There's your moderate image. A man with blood on his hands, blood on his clothes, and a bunch of sorry, sad, broken people. Blood, death, whatever. That's, that's, that's what radical Islam has always brought. And there are a large number of people who, who believed the foolishness that the Taliban said about how they were going to act. The only reason they acted that way was because of what a good job Donald Trump had done. And whether or not you want to hear that, let me show you why that's true. It's why it's a correct view. It's why you're listening. It's why you're sharing, hitting subscribe, and I'm grateful for you doing it. Donald Trump threatened them with, no, forget about threatened. He promised them, and they knew that he would eliminate the Taliban. There wouldn't be so much as a turban left behind. You wouldn't be able to find a pile of camel crap if they did anything against what Trump wanted. So the Taliban was in check. And that, my friends, led people in the Biden administration to think that this situation was under control. The only reason that it was under control was because we had a real man in the White House. And even if you don't like him, it's very obvious to see that that's the correct view because it's true, because now that we've got Biden in office, nothing like that is happening. So it's sort of self-explanatory there. It's not really opinion. Um... Also, and I, I forget which, Laura, I forget her name, it's, ah, it's on the tip of my tongue, InfoWars had an article, you can find it, uh, it would, would, would have come out on the 18th of August, 2021, um, I guess today is the 19th now, it says, um, she said the reason this is happening is because somebody wants it to, and uh, among the whole global reset, beyond all of that, I should say, is something that not a lot of people are talking about or addressing, and that is that Pakistan, the three quote-unquote branches of government for the Taliban are actually in Pakistan. And that may not remain that way for good, depending on when you see this video, but they are in Pakistan. They've been in Pakistan. Pakistan is a nuclear-armed nation. Biden and others are armed, have said to people who they've worked with that because of that, Pakistan matters and Afghan, Afghanistan does not. Listen to that again. Pakistan matters because they're a nuclear nation. Afghanistan does not. That, that has been said by Biden to other people. You can look the quote up. Peshawar, Pakistan, images of the Taliban, according to NBC News, as you can see on Fact Cam. Cracking down on a protest and bloodied women and children beaten by fighters are contradicting the more moderate image of the militant group has been trying to project as it tries to consolidate power in Afghanistan. That is the trouble, though, friends. That's, that's the whole trouble with believing... Got to watch how you word this. The problem with believing many facets of Islam is because within Islam, you are allowed to actually lie for the good of Islam. It permits lying. So when they say something, it, it, their religion, the God they choose to worship, allows it, condones it, and it, it thinks it's a good idea in many instances. You cannot trust them. Less than 24 hours after the Taliban spokesman delivered security guarantees at a news conference, less than a day, in Kabul, the militants on Wednesday tried to stop residents from installing Afghan's national black, red, and green flag in the eastern city of Jalalabad, said Anwar Khan, who was, or I should say, is a resident. He's probably trapped there. Thank you, Mr. Biden. 
A former police official told Reuters that four people were killed in the protest and that 13 others were injured. Afghan's Paul Walk news agency shared a video of what it said was the what it said was the incident showing crowds running as gunfire was heard. So here here's some images of how, the truthful side of Islam here. Meanwhile, the Taliban's assurance of a safe passage to the Kabul airport, where thousands were thronged in a desperate bid to be taken out of the country, has also been undermined by a report and ph photographs by the Los Angeles Times journalist. Now, the LA Times is not exactly known for their honesty here, so if they are reporting on this against a Democrat in office, you know for sure it's hit the fan. In one of the graphic images, a woman and a child are seen with blood on their faces, apparently unconscious. Hundreds of people were outside the airport Wednesday, the Associated Depressed reported. It said that the Taliban demanded to see documents before they allowed the rare passenger inside. And they were shooting weapons to get people to disperse. And you needed a green card, not just a passport. So people are being sent back and forth. And in the process, God only knows what's happening to them in transit back and forth. These nice, moderate people um, blew up two ancient statues of Buddha carved into a mountain in 2001. And already... Other countries are wondering what they're going to do because up to 3 million people could be rushing into Europe right now. But what do we have? What do we have? Do we have Donald Trump in office, which so many... Donald Trump is danger, danger, danger. All right. How about that? Oh, wait. Now I shut it off. Let me put it back on. Um, you want to talk about no respect? Okay. How about this? The Taliban sent Joe Biden a message, this is uh, InfoWars, Tuesday, opposing for a photograph, which later ended up on Twitter showing the fighters holding ice cream cones. Americans trapped in Afghanistan were told that you're on your own. Does that look like respect? You think that they would have dared to do something like that to Donald Trump? Look how Donald Trump handled North Korea when they tried shenanigans like that. And no, I'm not saying he'd launch bombs. I think one of his great moments was when uh, Kim Jong-un, the, the rotund leader of North Korea, he said that Donald Trump was a dotard, a dotard idiot. And uh, Donald Trump said, I hope that that's not true because I'd never call him short and fat. He had ways of shooting back without it being violent, but they knew not to mess with him. Does this look like people who don't think that they should mess with Joe Biden? Because it doesn't look that way to me. And so this is the image predicted to America's enemies. Do you think he gets to pick anything other than what kinds of ice cream he wants? That's it, friends. I'm not happy to give you that report. But you're listening to the correct views, and I give you the correct views. And unfortunately, that which is correct today is not at all happy. Please hit subscribe. Please hit share. Get a hold of me at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com through PayPal. I would love to hear from you. You don't have to donate. And you just get a hold of me. I guess not through PayPal. The correct views at hotmail.com just to chat uh, through PayPal. If you want to throw me a dollar or two, I won't say no to it. Money given to me goes towards a better show. Thank you, friends. Good night. God bless.